My name is Tiger and I'm from Dugan's Paint and Flooring Centers. Today I'm going to be telling you how to clean your cabinets with TSP, which is trisodium phosphate. What you're going to need is the liquid TSP, a gallon of warm water, some stir sticks, a screwdriver if you plan on cleaning your hardware, a sponge or some other abrasive material, and gloves. Also some cloths would be good to have. So first I'm going to put on the gloves because Sometimes TSP can be kind of irritating to open wounds like hangnails, and you don't want to get it in your eyes, so be careful when using this. I'm going to take eight ounces to a gallon of water. In some cases, you may need a more heavy duty cleaning rather than just a general cleaning. In this case, I have a cabinet door that is pretty much in need of a heavy duty cleaning. You can see the grime all the way around here and it's got some drizzle areas. I'm actually going to do this side, which has the most grime, and then I'm going to take the hardware off of this cabinet and show you how it can be cleaned. So I'm going to take eight ounces per gallon of water, and they have it measured out for you already on the can. Okay, so we're at about eight ounces. I'm going to use a stir stick to stir it up a little bit. And I'm going to take my sponge. I'm going to douse it with the TSP water mix. I'm going to submerge the sponge and make sure it gets all of the concentrate it needs. This formula can also be used to clean fences, siding, um, hardware, a lot of different surfaces in the home that other household cleaners can't really do enough cleaning of. The TSP really cuts through the grime, so that's something to keep in mind when doing cleaning surfaces in your home because not a lot of household cleaners cannot cut through grease. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to start soaking it letting it do its job. I'm just going to put it on liberally. I can already see a pretty big difference. It's pretty surprising how much grime and grease can get on your cabinets, but when you think about it, with your stove going and doing dishes, a lot of those particles can get in the air and grease actually gets in the air and floats and then sticks to other objects. Okay. Just another word of warning, if you dilute this and the TSP is too strong, it can, it can take the finish off the cabinet, so beware that you don't do that. You can already see this pooling, and that is actually dirt and grime. I'm going to let that sit for a moment, and while I let that sit, white rag and just try and pick up as much grease as I can just to show you how much can actually end up being on there. You can see all that, and that's what you're touching every day. Let's see. And then around the areas where the hardware is can sometimes be the most dirty because that's where you're touching the most. I can already see a little bit of dirt and grime there. Now I'm going to take a clean white rag just to show you how much it's actually going to come off with this. And I'm going to start removing it just by wiping it off. And I'll show you the end result so you can really get an idea of what you're messing with. You really want to get the grooves really well because that's where a lot of that buildup is happening. So I'm going to take the TSP and water and rub it into the grooves one more time. We'll try and cut through that. And you can see this puddle down here, which is just pooling. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a damp, wet rag to it and just try to remove any residue that's still there. 
Okay, so now I'm going to reveal to you all the dirt and grime that was on there. And these are from the grooves, just from all over. Once I have removed all the residue, I'm going to take a damp rag and then clean it all off and try and get all the chemical off. You're going to want to keep rinsing it just to make sure there's no harsh chemicals on it. It's not something you want to ingest. You don't want to get it in your eyes, so make sure you clean it thoroughly. Next, I'm going to just take some hardware off the other cabinet we have here, and I'm going to drop it into the TSP mix to show you how to clean your handles. Move the hardware off of this cabinet. Now that I've removed the hardware, I'm going to let you see how dark it is. It's a pretty dark hardware system. And I'm going to take it and drop it into the TSP and water mix. I'm going to let that soak. And I'm going to start taking the sponge to it. You can also use a toothbrush or steel brush, anything like that. All right, I've let it soak for a little bit, and I'm going to show you a little bit of how much it's changed. Now this is just the beginning. You might need to take some steel wool to it. You might need to take a steel brush to it. A toothbrush will work. I've already let another handle soak in here for some time. And I'll show you the difference once you're finished. And that is the difference. These are the same handles. This one has just been thoroughly cleaned. It's quite a big difference. This is a great job for spring cleaning. And it really freshens up the look of your cabinets. I'm going to show you what this cabinet looks like. And also show you all the dirt and grime that has floated off of it. As you can see, we've still got a lot of residue draining off. And you can see all of that dirt and grime that was in the grooves is now gone. Compared to the other side that is still pretty dirty. Again, I want to reiterate that you do want to wear some kind of protection. When spraying this onto a deck or fence, siding, anything like that, you want to wear some eye protection because that spraying can come back into your eyes and it will burn. So whenever you're doing anything like this with any harsh chemicals, you want to wear the right protection. Okay. Whenever you apply this to your siding or fence or anything, you can either use a garden sprayer or you can add it to your pressure washer. It can also help treat mold if you add some bleach to that formula. If you have any questions, you can always stop by Dugan's and we'll talk you through any project. Come by and see us.